a digital health company that helps people live healthier. We're a consumer-led digital health company that helps people live healthier, happier lives. Well, let's call bullshit on that now. You're just a dieting app. The thing that's always bothered me about Noom is that they're very reluctant to actually say what they are. And when you look at their social media, when you look at their website, I mean, their website is learn to eat mindfully. Education. Psychology is the key to lasting change. Oh my God, they're gonna look inside my soul and tell me what I need. No, they're gonna put you on a diet because society and social media and media everywhere is telling us that in order to be happier, we need to be thinner. In order to be successful, we need to be thinner. In order to be accepted, we need to look a certain way. That's what society is saying, and that is what Noom is feeding into. It is not looking to improve your life and your lifestyle, it's looking to make you thinner. This video is the first part of a two-part series that I'm gonna do on Noom. I have signed up for the app. I'm going to do the two-week, uh, one-week or two-week trial, and uh, I'm gonna come back to you with an update. But let's talk about the sign-up process first, and here is what bothers me about this app. The sign-up process makes you feel warm and fuzzy. It makes you feel like somebody is listening. It makes you feel like, you know what? I. I think this app is gonna get me. I think this app is going to understand me. And it says we have personalized coaches waiting in the background to help you achieve what it is you want to achieve. Noom creates long-term results through habit and behavior change, not through restrictive dieting. So let's just go back to that a second. And we want to change how we think. Okay, so that's long-term results. We want to change how we eat, wonderful. I want to eat better, I want to nourish my body, I want to feel good in my gut, wonderful. Change how we feel, spot on, I'm really looking forward to this, I want to feel better, I want to have more energy, change for good. All of those things sound wonderful because if we're gonna change how we think, how we eat, how we feel, and change for good, that means that this is a sustainable plan, right? Wonderful, okay, so this is what Noom is selling me. And when it talks about long-term results, I'm assuming that it means those things it's just told me on the social media. However, we're gonna go on and Noom is asking me what my demographic profile is, how frequently I eat, whether I have snacks during the day, how active I am. So that's kind of normal. I suppose it gives people an idea or it gives the program an idea of what your energy output is and gives you a general idea of what your energy intake might be. So. It asks if I'm at risk of a number of different health issues. Wonderful, that's all above board. And it asks if I might be at risk of any eating disorders, whether I've been treated for diabetes. So then it goes on to say, as a woman in your 40s, your environment can play a role in your ability to lose weight. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know we were talking about weight loss. I thought we were talking about sustainable change for a quality lifestyle. but. It is looking at environment and environment plays a huge factor in people's capacity to make the changes that they want to make. So our daily habits, our daily behaviors are influenced by the environment that we're in. I'm impressed by this. Well done Noom for asking these important questions. So as we go through the questions here, it says, based on your answers, you'll be 11 stone by the 30th of May. And actually, if we go back and I look at what I entered when I was setting up my program, it asked me if I wanted to lose weight or maintain weight. And I said I wanted to maintain my weight and I wanted zero kilogram weight loss. So I'm excited, right? Uh, Noom is telling me that I'm going to achieve all these wonderful things. It's telling me that it's going to set me up for a happier, healthier life. And this sounds like nothing I've ever done before because everything before has been Weight Watchers, Uni-Slim, restriction, um, depriving myself, yo-yo dieting, coming down hard on a diet, giving it up and then going back to where I was before. Nothing has worked for me, but Noom sounds different. Noom sounds sustainable. Noom is lying. 
okay? I went into the back end and what I discovered was that Noom had set me up at a calorie intake of 1500 and something calories a day, low end 1500. I can tell you now that the example I've given above here from my fitness pal is not a sustainable energy intake for me. If I was simply going out and walking the dogs every day, I require about 2,200, 2,300 calories just to stay the same, to maintain my current muscle mass, just to get me through the day and not have me keeling over exhausted by eight o'clock in the evening. So I switched the dial on that Noom application and I said I wanted my progress to be slower and a little bit steadier. And Noom shuttled me all the way up to 1,710 calories a day. Again, I know for a fact that I would not be able to sustain my current level of daily activities, walking the dogs, just doing a bit of housework, getting out and going for an easy run, working or just using brain power. I would be so tired after a week of eating just 1700 calories a day. My mood would be lower, bone production would take a downturn, hormone production would probably be affected. That is what we refer to as clinical low energy availability or looking up my numbers, it most certainly would be. So why does Noom do this? Why, why has it set this up in the background? Because all it is doing, having told you that it wants to build you up to be happier, healthier, function better, have a better lifestyle, be the best version of yourself, Noom is setting you up for a big fall. 1500 calories a day is a hard diet by anybody's standards. I'm going to give this a go for the week. I'm going to see what comes up, what Noom tells me to do. I'm going to see what information is provided to me on the app. Maybe the CBT stuff is great. Maybe the habit stuff is great. But I can tell you now unequivocally, 15 to 1700 calories a day is not sustainable long term. That's where we're going to finish today on. Tune in for part two. I'll let you know when it's coming.